Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about screwing up. We all screw up. Everybody does. We screw up in our personal lives. We screw up in social media. We screw up in our work environment. There's two really important questions that you have to ask yourself and you have to address after you screw up. Number one is how do I do damage control? And number two is how do I repair my personal brand? The one thing, the most important thing you want to remember after you screw up is you do not want to go into denial about it. You do not want to put your head in the sand and act like it didn't happen and just completely deny the fact that this happened. That's going to make it worse, I guarantee you, without fail. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to whoever it was that was affected, whether it was your social media audience, whether it was your boss, whether it was a coworker, whether it was your significant other, and then you want to acknowledge the mistake. You want to say what happened and how it was a screw up. Number three is that you want to go to that conversation, not only with an admission, but you want to go with a proposed solution with a fix, with a way to do it differently. In that conversation, the biggest thing you don't want to do is you don't want to blame others. You want to own it. You don't want to say, you know, go in a long description about why it happened or why the system is all effed up or the processes are all effed up or who else had a hand in it. You want to own it yourself as much as possible because you want to own the solution for it and the fix for it as well. Rebuilding a personal brand, fixing your personal reputation afterwards can take some time, but it can be done. So you want to set up a check-in with either your audience or your boss or whoever it is was affected and check in periodically and ask for feedback about how you are doing in your progress in getting better and repairing that mistake. They're going to know that you're owning it and that you're taking the responsibility for it happening and that you have a level of personal integrity, which is really going to reflect well on you. And they also know that you're working actively on the solution and you're not forgetting about it and you really care about the solution, which is all, again, really going to affect your reputation in a very positive way. So overall, if you are a competent person, Mistakes can actually make you more attractive to people. I know it's weird to think about it this way, but there's this thing called the pratfall effect. And what that is, is that we all know that everyone's human and everyone makes mistakes. And if you make a mistake and you admit it freely, people will give you credit for that. And in many cases, they find you more human, more attractive as a person because of your admitting it. So it can actually work to your benefit by owning your mistakes. We all have more exposure than we've ever had before. We're on social media. We put ourselves out there in content. We write. We do videos. We speak in person. We network at events. We, you know, socialize at work. We're constantly putting ourselves out there. And in putting ourselves out there, we expose ourselves. We make it more likely that in some case, sometime, we're going to make a mistake. So having these kinds of tools of how to deal with screw-ups and deal with mistakes is really helpful in your career and in your personal life. In general, people will give you credit for trying. They'll give you credit for admitting your mistakes. They'll give you credit for being vulnerable, for being human. There's something about absolute perfection that is off-putting that, you know, in a way, absolute perfection is kind of fake. So when we see, you know, cracks in the wall in people, we have a tendency to, that humanizes them and we trust them more. So being that kind of person can actually benefit you. So I have this saying I say in a lot of my videos, which is dare to be bad. So you kind of have to dare to suck. You have to, you know, dare to take a chance. You have to screw up a little bit. You have to dare to make mistakes because with, unless we make mistakes, we don't learn, we don't grow, we don't get better. Nothing is great out of the gate. No brand was great out of the gate. Tesla wasn't great out of the gate. Macintosh wasn't great. Ford wasn't great. FedEx wasn't great out of the gate. Bill Gates, Kanye West, you know, Richard Branson, they all made mistakes. They all stumbled. They all had to admit when they screwed up. And so by doing that, by following the greats and how they do things, you can get better, you can succeed more, you can gather a bigger tribe, and you can have more integrity as you go about your personal life and your professional life. So that's it. I hope you liked this video on what to do when you screw up. And if you did, please hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out. And visit me at philipvandusen.com. If you're having any trouble with your brand, your professional career, your design, your strategy, hit me up and we'll see what we can do to take you to the next level.
And with that, thanks again for watching. See you next time.